It's super cute. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. We are the biggest Hunger Games fans ever. And even just saying that, the biggest, like that doesn't even really describe, it's not even accurate. It doesn't it's, begin to cover it. Yeah, we're done. It's not healthy. So in light of the fact that the Hunger Games movie is coming out on the 23rd, which is less than a week and a half away, we're going to do a Hunger Games take for you because we've been a little bit of absentee. Yeah. You had midterms and papers and all of the school things. <laughs> we're having a good time, right, baby? Yeah. What is your favorite book in the Hunger Games trilogy? Oh my. Oh. Bailey, what's your favorite book in the Hunger Games trilogy? He says, Hunger? That's a tough one. Because, like, I mean, obviously... It's not hard. The first one's the best. But I also really liked Mockingjay. I know some people are all like, oh, it wasn't as good and blah blah blah. No, I loved it. I devoured that book. So you're saying Hunger Games is your favorite then? I think Hunger Games is my favorite, yeah. And you're saying Mockingjay? I'm saying it's hard to choose between the two. <laughs> the fence So sitter. indecisive! Perpetual fence sitter. Yeah. <laughs> How long would you last in the Hunger Games? Oh god. How long? <laughs> Neither one of us would last. Oh no. Last very long at all. We like, couldn't kill people. We could be... No, no. No, neither one of us would last very long. And we couldn't long. fend for ourselves I don't either. know if we would last past the first day, honestly. Like, I just don't think we have that in us. We wouldn't go for the cornucopia, obviously. No, we would not we go for would the cornucopia. We book it, and if we survived the first day, we would starve to death. Well, we wouldn't. I don't even think we'd survive the first day no. if we managed someone, to find a sufficient hiding what, place. Like, someone would just, like, the sh they would chance. find us. They would find us. They would say, what's wrong? Stop fighting, guys. Are you okay? Stop fighting, guys. I don't even get this question. Um, what is the strangest thing you thought was going to happen in the books? What does that mean? Like, I don't even... Let's say it means, like, the most, like, surprising. Okay, definitely, um, without a doubt, second book, when they went back into the games. Yeah. I did not see that coming at all. Me like, not even a little bit. Yeah. Legitimately, I was shocked. Yeah. Right, Bailey? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> How were you introduced to the Hunger Games, number four? Obviously... <laughs> You know this already, but you introduced me. Yeah, to it. I did. I have no idea. I cannot. Did you like pick it up in a bookstore or? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Favorite moment that happens in the Hunger Games. I really liked Rue, and so when she and Katniss this is your favorite allies, moment. Oh, when they became allies. When they were allies. <laughs> You're going to be like, I really like Rue, when she died. Yay! No, I didn't like her death. It I knew. It was probably so the much. saddest moment. <laughs> I guess just like when both Katniss and Peter get out alive. I always thought it would be. I like, I don't know. Thinking logically, for the book to actually end properly, she would have to get out alive. I I'm legitimately. Do I? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, stop. <laughs> Maybe it was doing it on purpose. You were too. You. You. Ah. So who was your favorite villain? Oh my goodness, villain, villain, but villain. I didn't like them. <laughs> the, like the capital is the villain, but I like, guess. But like, and then the Snow. people there are just so derpy that you like, can't even consider well, them villains. And like, really. they're not really villainous. I can't I mean, think I, of anyone else. I, like the other people, but I can't even say like the other people in the games were evil, like villains. Because it was a product of their society. Yeah, and they were just as much victims as our favorite characters were. Just because, like, it was written from Katniss's point of view doesn't mean that anyone else was, like, at fault. Oh, he whined <gasps> a little bit. I love you. You're so pretty. You're a pretty puppy. This is a cool one. What district would you live in? Number eight. Well, if we're going by the actual map, then technically we would be in the capital. Does that count? The district is a capital? I probably not, but I'm gonna say we're from the capital. Okay. <laughs> Does that say something about our character that we would rather have an e like an easy, luxurious life, but be evil? <laughs> well, we're not really evil. We we're don't... just ignorant. Exactly. If you read the Pretty's um, Uglies special series, I saw very little problem with that society. <laughs> Callie's all like, we can't do this operation without people's consent. And I'm like, why the hell not? Like, just go for it, man. They don't know any better. Happy. <laughs> They're happy. As for, like, an actual district, if we had to live in a district, what... 
Okay, I can't decide. Like, maybe, honestly, okay, I'm sorry, Bailey. Maybe the one Rue was from. Because, like, I don't know, they get to work in an orchard. But they were, like, really but mean they, about it. But they sing. What would you write? I don't even know. Oh, uh, okay, we're gonna do a pause. Oh, we've been a swap cookie today. <laughs>